you laughing at me? I'm laughing at your dance moves. <laughs> What's wrong with my dance moves? <laughs> I don't know if you this were doing the water. Oh, I, sorry. I was looking down, so I thought you were doing the whole. <laughs> No, but that is one of my go-tos. That is one of the... <laughs> All right, it's time now for the skinny and topping our headlines today. The happiest show on earth. It was Disney week on last night's Dancing with the Stars, complete with princesses, princess, and a few beasts as well. Uh, hands down, the last night's best performance, and admittedly we're biased, but this was the truth, was our own belle of the ball, Ginger Z and Val, with their foxtrot take on Beauty and the Beast, scoring them nines across the board for a final score of 36 out of 40. Coming in close second, Niall DeMarco and Peta with their Tarzan Samba and a scantily clad Niall sending the crowd and the judges into a bit of a frenzy with Judge Bruno Tinoli raving that they deserve an Emmy for best supporting loincloth. <laughs> okay. We'll just leave that. We'll let that one sit out uh -huh. there for a little bit. The couple scored a 34 out of 40. Not bad. Paige Van Zandt, uh, Mark Rallis, uh, they blew everyone out of the water. Um, with their quick step to Toy Story's You've Got a Friend in Me, landing at the top of the leaderboard with a 36 out of 40. But of course, not everyone can be a winner. The losers of the night were Marla Maples and her partner, Tony Dovoloni. They got the boot, but not before they performed a beautiful waltz to Part of Your World in The Little Mermaid. Marla said it's been the most incredible experience. So much fun. It looked like they had fun. It was a fun night. Ben Sherwood was in the audience. And? Cheering them on. This is one of my favorites. Favorite? All-time song, yes. Disney song. Yes. A I part might, of. I might know every single word. <laughs> it's possible. I'm just probably saying. do. It was a fun night. This is always my favorite year. Well, and I feel uh, like even of the year. even those who didn't perform that well were still in a really good mood. Because mm -hmm. how could you not when you're dancing to Disney tunes, right? Yeah, exactly. Doug Flutie was, eh, but still, he had a great time. Boston College, I love Doug oh, Flutie. Gosh. Be careful. Oh, no, it's all right. Be right careful. Sorry. Don't mean to knock Western <laughs> New York or Boston. Next, though, to Siri. Uh, still sassy as ever. If you're hoping for a sneak peek into HBO's Game of Thrones before the sixth season premieres on April 24th, don't count on getting a straight answer from your iPhone. If you ask Siri that burning question everyone wants to know, mm -hmm. is Jon Snow actually dead? You'll end up getting nothing but a smart Alec response. Well, because the cast members aren't telling us. So actress Kerry Washington tweeted a screenshot of one of her responses from Siri, which reads, I don't know, I just hope someone is setting up Doggy daycare for ghost. That's and, and, John Snow's and, dog, by yeah, the way. Yeah, and Carrie was like, wait, what? I tried it. Just, Are you trying? I'm gonna try it again. Hey Siri. It always fails. Hey, Every Siri. time. What yep. can I help you with, says Siri? Is John Snow really dead? Okay, I found this on the web for is Jon Snow really dead? Oh, Siri, responses. Siri failed me. <laughs> we both tried it in our offices. Is Jon Snow really, uh, hey Siri, is Jon Snow really dead? Yep, nailed it. At least Siri's talking to me. <laughs> Siri's giving you the silent treatment. All nailed right, it. Moving on, Kylie Jenner, definitely the lady of the month. She's gracing the covers of at least three different magazines, Adweek, Paper, and now Marie Claire. But yes. she's hitting a roadblock with her cosmetics website, which has been revealing customers' personal information online. As many as a million customers may have had their information compromised. She's also coming under fire for her recent comments to Marie Claire magazine, saying, quote, I started wigs and now everyone's wearing wigs. <laughs> but in an apparent response on Twitter, Jenner said, quote, publications switch up your words for hype. So that is what she was quoted as saying. I'm trying it one more time. Hey, Siri. Yeah. Is Jon Snow really dead? I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> so the silent treatment no. from Siri. Siri's not cooperating with you today. No, fail.